Hello guys and welcome back to another Atletico Madrid career mode episode. Before we go any further, make sure you follow us on Twitter at SubSweatyGamers to keep up to date with all the latest news and if you just want to chat, you're more than welcome to. So let's get into today's episode, episode 15. Apologies for not uploading for a little while. We've, it's been probably over a week since the last career mode episode. Oops, my bad. But we do have three more games for you and we can progress a little further into our career mode, the first season with Atletico Madrid. And as you can see, we're in the Europa League competition. Obviously, we didn't quite make it into the Champions League through the group stage. And now it is time to redeem ourselves and play very well and hopefully win the Europa League. And I do believe, I'm not sure <coughs> if it counts for FIFA, but I do believe this year if you win the Europa League, you get automatic promotion into the Champions League. So that's something, if it does count in here, that would be pretty damn epic. I don't think it does, so I'm not really going to aim for it, but I do want to win this Europa League just because it is a major trophy and that will look pretty impressive on our first season with Atletico Madrid. And also, we have two games after this, and we do have the second leg as well. This is the first leg. We do have the second leg against Lazio later on, but we have a chance here to pay here out on the wing. He cuts it in, far post, Gabby pulls it back and the head is pretty out poor. So we can move forward now and it's nearly 8 minutes gone into the first half and Lazio have a chance here. They shoot, holy crap they hit the, part, the post and that was a great chance and I don't know what happened there between Courtois and our defender but they've got a corner thanks to some spaz action so come on we've got to defend this now. They whip the ball in and Courtois with a massive punch away. Whipped it back post, but he is offside. Thank God for that. Is it Maori or Mori? He is offside. So 42 minutes gone in the game. It's still 0-0. It's been a good first half. And Lazio have come very attacking. They've got a good side. They've got three at the back as well. But we've got a chance here. And the header. We couldn't just quite get to it. But if we would have, that would have surely been a goal. And as the keeper kicks it out, there we go. Half time in the first game. It is 0-0. And as I was saying. Lazio are playing very well. Oh, we're playing pretty damn well as you know as well, but Lazio, I think, are just a little outperforming us at the moment. We've had a couple of chances, but they've had the better chances. And early on, get in there. What a start. Holy crap. And over the head of the defenders. And a first time volley for Sterling. It is pretty much the kickoff glitch, but what a finish. First time volley. We've got another chance straight from that. We're winding up. Diego Costa shoots. Keeper saves. Oh, the rebound hit the post. Saved again. But Sterling, fourth time lucky. And we're 2-0 up. Get in there. And Raheem Sterling has doubled our lead and doubled his lead. His goal tally as well. And that puts us 2-0 up now. And that is where we want to be. This is away leg um, rules as well. Away goal rules, sorry. So we have a great opportunity now to progress through to the quarter finals and hopefully the ref there we go blows for full time and we've won the first game 2-0 what a great start to this episode and a great win against a Lazio team that were playing very well in the first half but we can go away from that game concentrate on the next one and that's what we've got to do now and it is a league match against Osasuna and again it is another away match so it could end up being bad for us result wise but I'm um, I'm pretty confident I'm sure I'm pretty sure we can get a win from this and obviously we've got to rotate the squad a bit because we play two days beforehand against Lazio and I think we play two days after this so it's three games bunched up very close the players are tired and here's our starting no this is the league table sorry I was about to say this is our starting 11 <laughs> I sort of rushed into that one but we are about 10 points behind Real Madrid uh, you know give or take a point and we do have a game in hand I think at the moment or it could be level games at the moment but I'm pretty sure we can catch them up here's our starting 11 this time as you can see Jackson Martinez with Farfan and Koke are up front with Correa, Sandra and William Carvalho in midfield <laughs> it's quite an attacking lineup, and we've had to rest uh, Costa de Pay and a few others and again trying off the kickoff glitch but it didn't quite work that time and as, as I said before, you know, when I play teams that I don't know are going to be good or bad, I don't know if they're going to be good or bad, I do try the kickoff glitch. Uh, a world class as well, so far this career has been pretty tough, so I've been trying my best, but we have a chance here. And Martinez! Oh, what a header! 
and we're 1-0 up. Jackson Martinez opens the score and, and we are 1-0 up inside 12 minutes. And as I was talking, Koke, I do believe Koke cross with a beautiful cross. And the header was just as beautiful. And we can go on to the 28th minute now. And as you can see, Farfan with the ball passes it to Jackson Martinez who turns, shoots, and the keeper saves. And we've got a corner kick now. But as I was saying, you know, we've been playing very well <coughs> and I'm going to try the kickoff glitch pretty much all the time, but I'm not going to show it all the time. And I don't score a lot, but as I was talking as well, we have scored again and we're 2-0 up. 30th minute goal and who scored the header? I believe it was Congolo, the centre-back, the young centre-back that we brought in for €2 million. Euros. And look at the header on that, absolutely fantastic and we're 2-0 up. That is good, a good start to the game. And as you can see, half-time whistle has blown and we take a 2-0 advantage into the second half. So far, so good. And obviously, at the end of this video, guys, I have a squad report for you. And I hope you enjoyed that. Obviously, I haven't done too many. I'll try and do one squad report a month uh, for the rest of the season now. That's about three more. And we have a chance again and it's 3-0. Oh, my God, is that Jackson Martinez again? I think it is. And it's, he's doubled his lead now, his goal tally. And it's 3 0 on the scoreline. It looks like the points are coming home with Atletico Madrid. And look at this, it's another headed goal. But at the end of the day, we're winning, and that's what is important. And literally two minutes later, and we've put the ball over the top, and Jackson Martinez for the hat trick. And he's done it. Three goals for Jackson Martinez. And he is on fire at the moment for us. Diego Costa as well is on fire. So our strikers are performing very, very well. And we have a 4-0 lead. And as you can see, we have one minute at a time. <coughs> and there we go. Full-time whistle has blown. And we've won the second game as well. 4-0. What a result. And Jackson Martinez, again, as I said before, scores another hat-trick. He has scored a lot of goals at the moment for us in, uh, what, eight or nine games. Uh, but we can concentrate on the second leg now of the Europa League tie with Lazio. Hopefully we can win this one or even draw because then we progress through. <coughs> and that is the main thing. As long as we progress, that will be pretty damn awesome. Uh, I don't know what to expect from Lazio because the first get leg, the first game against them, they played pretty well. But we come away with a 2-0 victory. So if they don't play too well today, we could end up winning 3-4-5-0. I don't think they're the team to really compete with the big guns and Atletico Madrid certainly this year are big guns. I mean, they're not quite like, they haven't got squads like Manchester City, Chelsea, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, but they've got a team that can really function well and obviously they've won the league from them in real life so <coughs> it's pretty damn impressive. And hopefully we can emulate that and win the league. Obviously we're not going to get into the Champions League final, but we may be, may be able to win the Europa League. Here's our starting eleven, anyway, guys, if you haven't seen it yet. As you see, Sterling and Depay either side of Diego Costa. A very quick, strong attacking three. Obviously Diego Costa with the strength and the pacey wingers just make that perfect for the headers. <laughs> now I don't try and score headers, but I just, I just try my best to score. And against some teams, and against, and using some teams, sorry, it is best to use wing play. And that obviously leads to a lot of headed goals. And we've got a chance, and as I was saying, headed goals. And Diego Costa opens the score, and that's a 3-0 advantage now. That's an aggregate scoreline, 3-0. And surely, if we continue this, we're going to go home with a very, very good aggregate score. And again move from forward, Diego Costa's won the ball, a lovely step over, he's got a chance, hits the post, but it's come straight back to him, and it's 2-0, he's doubled his to goal tally, and that's 4-0 on aggregate now, and we are playing pretty damn awesome, thankfully Lazio haven't turned up in this first 12 minutes, and we have took the advantage and scored twice, and Diego Costa, as I said, Diego Costa and Jackson Martinez are on top form for the club so far, it's just absolutely epic, the way they're playing, and Depay and Sterling has even had a great start to his uh, Atletico Madrid career, and Diego Costa's got a chance, oh, first time for this shot, bottom corner, 3-0, 27 minutes gone, and the game is looking like it's over already, the, this is surely ours, 5-0 on aggregate, I don't think uh, Lazio are going to score 6 goals right now, there's just no way, and as you can see, half-time is approaching, 
<laughs> and it still is 3-0 on the night, 5-0 on aggregate at half time. It stays like that as the ref blows his whistle and the players head for the tunnels. So a good, good first half and we are playing extremely well. Uh, the same can't be said for Lazio and that is really our advantage to be honest. The Lazio have not turned up and we have a chance here. Diego's through, he's through, one on one, he shoots. And the keeper saves. A great chance for Diego to score. And he couldn't quite tuck it in. And we do have a corner though. Sterling whips the ball in. Godin's header is easily saved by Marchetti. And as you can see here, 69 minutes gone. And Miroslav Klose has a chance. Come on, you surely should be able to catch him up. For fuck's sake. Oh, you bastards. And they've gone and scored. They've got their first goal of the tie. It's 5-1 on aggregate. And Miroslav Closer with a brilliant finish. That was a really good finish. And as you can see here, 90th minute, it looks like it's all over. But they do have a last minute chance to score again. And Closer has done it again. It's 3-2 on the night. Uh, looks like a more decent scoreline for Lazio's point of view. But 5-2 on aggregate and surely the game is over. There's no way they're going to score any more goals in the short amount of time they have left in the game. And hopefully we can end it on there. But... We what we're going to do, let's try some skills, I fucked that up, my bad, I'm just waiting for the ref to blow the whistle for full time, because surely there's not much left <coughs> in the game, and there we go, full time result, and with 1-3-2 on the night, 5-2 on aggregate, and we progress through to the quarterfinals, absolutely epic, what a game, something that I've been looking forward to is the Europa League, and hopefully we can play opponents like that all the freaking time, that'll be pretty damn epic so guys i have a squad report for you today before we go any further let's quickly check euro league we've got 350,000 euros for winning that or progressing from that round three matches rescheduled and let's go on to the squad report it is the last day of february so it's end of february and as you can see uh courtois he's not got any overalls gained he's got a few stats upgraded but he's still at overall 84, and obviously he's not our player as such. And Raphael here, we have plus two overalls. His value's gone up a little. <coughs> oh, excuse me, and 32 games. He's got three assists, not too good, but he's got a bunch of stats that have increased there. Uh, Godin, he's gone up by one. Miranda hasn't gone up yet, but he scored two goals out of the 28 games he has played for us. Felipe Luis has played 30 games with only one assist, and he's got nothing at all. Uh, William Carvalho, one of my most impressed with players that I've brought into the club. He's gained two overalls, and his value's gone up quite a bit, actually. And look, all them stats have increased. Absolutely awesome. Sandro's had a good first season. Obviously, we've still got a few months left, but so far he's had a good first season. 26 games, one assist. Diego, uh, go uh, well, an okay season. He's got four goals, three assists, but he's very, very inconsistent. Farfan, one of my favourite players in the team so far at the moment. He's 29 years old, so it looks like we're going to have to replace him soon, but he's still got another two seasons, I reckon. He's gone up one overall to 84. He's played 34 games, and look at this. Seven goals. 23 assists, absolutely amazing. Only his interceptions and attacking position have gone up as in stats, but just absolutely amazing. He's the best assister in the league, and he's probably up there with the best one in the Champions League as well. Diego Costa, he hasn't gone up in overall. He's gained some stats, and he's played 27 games, 21 goals, 9 assists. Depay, 28 games, 16 goals, 9 assists. No stats increased, that don't make much sense, but... I'm hoping he'll increase uh, Aaron Zubia, I believe that's how you pronounce the name. He's minus two overalls, but he is age 34. Sterling's come in, played four games, three goals, one assist. No overalls gained as of yet. Jackson Martinez, ten, 12 games played, 10 goals scored, two assists. No overalls gained. Koke, he's had an alright season. Alderweireld, he has played two... No, he's gone up by two overall, played 13 games. So far, that's pretty damn impressive. In Sua, he's gained an overall. Gabby hasn't gained anything, but he's had a good 21 games with us so far. And this guy here, the 19-year-old centre-back, is it Gimenez? I don't know. He's 71 overall, no overalls gained. Angel Correa, he is definitely a player. Keep an eye on in the future. Four and a half mil I paid for. 
plus Aquino, who's now valued at four and a half mil and probably could get up to ten. He's gained two overall, seventeen games, four four goals, three assists. Very quick, very good player. And a few other players here. Congolo, one of the <coughs> centre backs we brought in for two mil. He's value at one point eight already. Two overalls gained, and he scored three goals as a centre back out of seven games. That's really, really good for him. David Villa's gone down an overall. Looks like we're gonna have to sell him at the end of the season. And other than that, it's pretty damn impressive. So there we go. That is the squad report. And as you see, I'm just scrolling through the players we have loaned out. But there we are. The squad report <coughs> has been completed. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, guys. Until next time. Until next time. Take care. We're going to have episode 16 out soon, and we've got a lot of Ultimate Team content coming out. But the next episode, we have the big game against Real Madrid. Until then, take care.